Hey guys, welcome to Mike Yourself. Today I wanted to just go back in time a little bit and review a box that I made a long time ago. I never did a video on it. Um, I had made mention of it at one point in the bring your own base setup. That box didn't really work out for me, so I ended up building up something that was a three component setup. And that is a head unit, the baby base, which is two uh, kicker, 3.5 inch speakers, I believe they are, 3.5, and a an eight inch subwoofer. Uh, this one happens to be made by Boss, and it's all powered by a Sony Explode uh, amplifier. I wanna say that's a 200 watt amp that's down there, and powered by a 12 volt, 10 amp power adapter. Right, so this is just an AC to DC power adapter, so that way I can run this uh, plugged into a wall. So overall, the design of the subwoofer is just that, as that baby base. Again, it's got the dividers, it's got the deflectors, that really optimizes the sound for you. Some things I just want to point out is the power for this, uh, as it comes in, it doesn't go straight to a switch and then feeds the amplifier. Because of the amperage that could be absorbed or, or drawn by the amplifier, you don't want to run that straight through a switch because you'll smoke your switch. That's just too much power for a switch to handle. So in that case, what you want to do is utilize a relay. So this is a 30 to 40 amp relay. This thing is easily able to handle what that amplifier is going to pull and then you can control the power to that relay through the switch so when the the volume's up high and you're drawing that bass or whatever it is then you're not actually pulling those current that current through the switch uh, instead it's going through the relay which can easily handle that and you're going to be safe from creating yourself a little fire there all right so just something that you might want to look into before you start building something else like this uh, run your power through a relay that way you're safe right because amps they, they draw a lot of power. Um, that current's gonna go up high, especially the more bass you crank, that's why they get hot, all that good stuff. I have a cover here, I need to attach this still. Um, I had it mocked up uh, for a little while. One of the things I did do is I put a hole in the front. It serves two purposes, one to be able to stick my finger through and that way I can pop it out. The other is to allow for air to flow in. On the back side there's also a port for air to flow and that way the amplifier gets a little bit of uh, air going through it, right? So that's something else you want to keep in mind that car amplifiers, they're rated differently depending on which one you have. Some of them are good uh, or okay with being in enclosed areas uh, where others they need to be somewhere where there is airflow. So keep that in mind when you build your box, understand what you're buying. All right, well, let's go ahead and jump into the sound and uh, hopefully you like it. I'm gonna play a couple of different types of genres so that way you can hear maybe the uh, music of your choice and get an idea of what this thing sounds like when you fire it up.
liked it. Sounds really great. I'm here in my garage. If I turn it too loud, I start shaking the garage. It, it has a lot of bass. That um, design that I showed you with baby bass, like I said, you can scale it up, which is exactly what I did to make this box. It produces solid bass. It doesn't matter if you like rap. It doesn't matter if you like rock. It sounds amazing, right? All you have to do is tweak your amp, tweak your, your bass settings on your head unit to get it for the appropriate sound for you, and it'll sound amazing. Uh, at the end of the day, this box was made mostly out of stuff I already had. If you had to buy everything brand new, you'd probably be sitting anywhere from 60 to 70 bucks. Um, you know, all of this stuff is lower budget electronics, um, but it works. And the whole point is not to make something that is equal to or better than something you would buy online. At least not for me, it's not. It's all about the process of building it out to see if I could do it. And the end result being something cool that I could actually say, hey, I made that, right? So if I take it to a birthday party or whatever, of course, I'm going to hide it under a blanket or whatever. Somebody sees it. Um, <laughs> but ultimately, it's cool when you have that conversation and people go, oh, man, where'd you get that? Like, how? Did you build that? And then they just walk you through it. So super cool. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, please hit that like button, subscribe. And if you have any questions about what I did with this, um, go ahead and send it in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Uh, so again, thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you on the next video.